Welcome everyone. Who is your future spouse is today's Thomas Pick a Card. We're looking into all the details that may come up about this person's personality, what they look like, the circumstances surrounding, and just basically anything that pops up that you may need to know about your dynamic, how you meet. We'll see. It's always a surprise. So let me just zoom in for you. So you have three options. Option one on the left, Petalite in the middle, option two, Selenite, and on the right hand side, Agerine is your third option. Take a deep breath with me. And exhale. Timestamps will be in the description box. If you need more time to choose, you can pause now, and I'll see you at your choice. Welcome everyone who chose this Petalite. This is going to be a reading about who your future spouse is will be. The number 42 could be relevant, the number 6. Your future spouse is someone who is very spiritually enlightened, someone who is peaceful and at peace with themselves. This person may have a pet. This person is light-hearted. Their initials could start with P-E-T-A-L-I or I. This person could be tall. They could, there, there's something about them that could be quite unconventional. Something about Texas, something about Pennsylvania possibly coming up. Italy, Lithu Lithuania, this person may have a either a prominent nose or there's something very different or their nose stands out in some way. I don't know if it's the size or the shape, but it's quite something about their nose. This person is very tuned in with their soul and very spiritual. This person has an ability to easily detach from their emotions. They don't they don't take things too personally. They also don't take themselves too seriously. Okay. The number What is this? The number 40? Was it 49? Is this the number 40 or 49? I think it could be the number... Yeah, that's the number 40. The number 40 and the number 4 could be relevant. So we have 40, 42, 6, and 4 so far as possibly significant numbers. So I'm seeing April, June. These could be ages as well. Okay, so you could feel like you, you are at some sort of a, a dead end before you come together with this person. And you may not even believe that this is even going to happen. But then all of a sudden it does. When you meet this person, one or both of you could be going through an impasse in life at a dead end in some way, shape, or form. And when you come together, it will be like a relief. It could be that one or both of you are stuck, dealing with a lot of tension. You could be even feeling some, some sort of inertia.
and recognizing that there's a need for change here. Storyteller. This person could be really good at telling stories or they could like to tell stories or tell you their stories. This person could write poetry or sing or They could also have a story of how they reinvented themselves after what could have been a dead end in their own life. This could have even been someone who had a brush with death at some point in their life. This person could sing or play music, but again, that doesn't have to be the case for everyone watching this. They do have a lot of stories to tell, and they will tell you a lot of stories. Family, this is someone who loves family, who is a family person. They love their friends, they love their family, and friends and family are very central in this person's life, are very important to this person. They could already have kids, or they could want a family. They're very protective of their family. And if they have kids, they are very protective of their kids, or they will be. They are fun parents, or will be. Kiran, yeah, this person has gone through some healing around family issues. They've had to heal. They grew a lot from something that happened in their own family and they've had to release and heal stuff that caused them a lot of pain. This is someone who is always on the path of personal development. They sometimes deal with self-doubt. They are very sensitive. They could feel shame about something regarding their family. There could be some generational trauma, ancestral karma going on there that they have cleansed. They've done the healing, or they're still doing the healing. I feel this person, something about them is very healing as well. But their wounds, their main wounds, have something to do with family, and they have a lot of stories about their family. This person has cried a lot. So far I'm seeing Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here, the water signs in their main placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mars, Venus, Mercury possibly. This person could have Cancerian energy. Uh, there could have been something specifically with their mother that caused them pain. If this person has been pregnant before, they went through a lot of pain during their pregnancy. Now, I'm not quite sure if this is, this seems to be more like emotional pain, but could have been something else as well, but I'm seeing mainly emotional pain that they had to deal with through a pregnancy. If you're a masculine, this person could be the future mother of your children. If you're feminine, this person could make you a mother. But again, this is not going to be for everyone. This person is quite um, comforting and nurturing, okay? Eighth house. Scorpionic energy, so I'm already seeing all these water sign energies coming through. There's going to be a lot of intimacy and vulnerability between the two of you. It's going to be deeply intimate, and by deep intimacy, I don't mean just the physical. You're going to trust each other. You're going to lower the guard with each other. You're going to tell each other all your secrets and all your stories because there is that element of trust. It's going to be deeply felt, a very strong sexual connection, very erotic as well, but also a very empowering 
like power couple vibes is what I'm seeing here with the conjunction. Together you will empower each other and you will become more powerful together. You will enhance, strengthen, and activate each other's strengths. This person will be a good ally for you. And the connection will be intense, unbreakable. Someone here could be Gemini, or this person could have Gemini in their chart. You're going to socialize a lot together, and you're going to have a good banter, good conversation, good mental connection, as well as a good emotional connection. You're going to feel comfortable in sharing even your dark sides with each other. You will grow and transform a lot through this relationship. But at the beginning, there could be some adjustments needed because of some healing that you, you're still both going through and still helping each other with, but also empowering each other. I see conversations between you will be very healing and very empowering as well as the sex. The Selkie and her skin, the number 25 and the number 7 could be relevant, reclaiming your authenticity. I feel together you will help each other feel good in your own skins and you will help each other reclaim your authenticity and that will be the basis of your individual power and in conjunction the basis of the powerful relationship that you will develop. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of passion here. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so your heart and soul will be singing with joy. Experiencing this passion feeling very comfortable in your own skin around each other and we have a clock so this is going to need some time it's going to take some time because of certain cycles and some some time to heal and making progress so it's going to be a slow burn it's not going to be quick um, and there could be some waiting time that is necessary some setbacks even because of other circumstances mainly because there is a need to take care of stability here, whether that's financial, health, location. So there's going to be a time where it's going to take some time to heal either something physical or something when it comes to someone's sense of safety and stability within. about a foundation. The foundation of the relationship will take its time to be built so that it's built on something healthy, which I think it will be. 44 could be relevant. 4 plus 4 is an 8. 8 is the number of stable prosperity. So, And we have 8 twice with the 35 as well. 35, 44, 8, 8. Very stable and prosperous relationship. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy again, one or both of you. The uh, feminine in this connection is someone who has a big heart and will definitely by not have a doubt of how they hold this masculine's heart in their hands. There's a lot of love here, definitely a lot of love. And because of all the love that you share, a lot of abundance will follow with this cornucopia. An abundance of love as well. And an abundance of material things, an abundance of health, an abundance of intimacy, empowerment, authenticity, passion. It's like some big energy here. And definitely with the fourth chakra, which is the heart chakra, very healing and very, very heartfelt, very loving connection. With the number 38 here, which is also 11. This is a relationship that is filled with love, vulnerability, intimacy, passion, stability, and prosperity. Okay, beautiful. Knight of Cups. This could be a situation where friends turn into more than just friends. Friends. 
definitely very romantic. There could be some written communication between the two of you, which leads me to think that there could be a distance in the beginning. So emails, text messages, something like that. But a lot of love expressed through this written communication. Yeah, definitely could be a distance at the beginning with the two of wands. Needing to plan trips in some way, could be air travel, road travel, and some waiting and some planning and some strategizing necessary here because of the distance, because of circumstances that need time, because of physical and material considerations and circumstances. With the devil here, this is definitely also a strong, unbreakable, and somewhat lustful bond as well. So there's love and lust here. The number 15 and the number 6 again. Capricorn energy someone could have. Strength, but definitely a very strong bond. and But a lot of holding back, push and pull at the beginning, and having to wait and having to be strong, but also having to work on self-confidence to muster up the courage here to make some decisions. But ultimately choosing happiness this is a relationship that would lead to a lot of growth and joy. This is the one. Okay, this is the one. And of course, if this is the one, they also see you as the one. Leo energy strongly here, possibly. The number 8, the number 19, and the number 1 could be significant. Five of Swords. There could be some arguments or misunderstandings at the beginning. Someone could find it too good to be true or too hard to believe or there could be even people coming up against this at the beginning or you just adjusting and having some discussions in the beginning where you don't really see eye to eye but the love is there and it's felt but this could create some mental conflict right in the beginning possibly because of the distance because of maybe third party interferences other people other circumstances, challenges and obstacles coming in the way. Page in, of Inspiration, Page of Wands, Leo Sagittarius, Aries Energy. And this is new territory. It's going to take a leap of faith, but there's a lot of passion here. And it's definitely the kind of relationship that you've never experienced before. Six of Materials, Six of Pentacles. There's going to be an equal give and take. No one's going to feel like one is giving more than the other. But again, there's a need for a balance of material considerations and circumstances before this can move forward. Even um, adjusting and balancing um, the, the relation between toxicity and health and the elements that are toxic and the elements that are healthy and finding a balance here is going to need to happen to create a stable solid foundation with the three of pentacles here which will be created the foundation will be very very strong again an unbreakable bond muse of materials this is the husband himself so yes you will have or be a husband Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy very strongly there, possibly. And so, I would say you're going to get married. Whether this is on paper or spiritually, but this is an, an unbreakable, stable bond here. And your marriage is going to be A wealthy one as well you're both going to be able to generate wealth together like actual wealth but adjustments are required how, how many times throughout the reading did I say this yeah adjustments are required and will be required whether it's healing a change in location a change in circumstances there will be adjustments that are required for this to come together and at times it may feel like you're both losing hope, but then when you least expect it, a solution comes along. Because I do see this happening for you. 
All right, everyone, I hope this was helpful. It was a pleasure to read for all of you today. And let me know how this resonates for you in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a beautiful day. Bye. Welcome, option two, you chose Selenite. This is going to be your reading. This is who your future spouse is. This is someone who's done a lot of cleansing, purification, and cleaning, and clearing their body, their soul, their space, their mind, and their emotions. The number 49 and the number 4 could be relevant. This is someone who's very disciplined, takes care of their health. They have healthy routines. They like routines. And, okay, so this person could be a little bit of, just give me a second, please. So that could be a sign for you. So this this could even be someone who's a little bit of a clean freak, like they like everything clean. Spick and span, like you could eat stuff from their floor. Someone has a good intuition as well. Good clear cognizance, strong clear cognizance. You have brilliant ideas. This is borderline genius, this person. Very pure. Very pure soul. They really, it's really important for them to be the best human being they can be. This is someone who's also flexible and it has a very high vibration. Good for you. Oh, but we have the mask. Yep. Is this just a mask? No. The vibration is there. Of course, everyone has a light and a shadow, and they do. They don't really hide it. I feel, if anything, they hide how pure they are because they feel that they have to defend themselves or they have to protect themselves. They also feel like no matter how pure they are, they still feel at times that they have to wear a mask to appease people or because there's a part of them that's kind of a people pleaser at, in some things. The number 61 could be relevant and the number 7. At first, you're not going to know that this person has feelings toward you because they're going to hide that. And this person has a mask they wear so that they don't get into conflict. This person does not like conflict. And so you won't immediately see who they truly are because they hide parts of themselves or parts of what they think or what they feel. But they understand shadow and light and they understand how their shadows can also be strengths but they make sure they use their shadow for good. So this is never someone who would abuse their power. You're going to see the real them, but a lot of people don't have access to the real them. This person could be a writer or they could just like writing or be really good at writing. They like to preserve knowledge and information through journaling. This person is a wordsmith. They're good with words. They're good writers, good communicators, especially when it comes to the in, the in written form. Trust. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide you in this situation. They also trust their intuition. They, they trust their intuition. And you're going to know who this person is if, if you trust your intuition as well. This is someone who follows their dreams when it comes to their work. And there's someone you can trust as well. Pluto, this person could have strong Scorpio in their chart. This relationship is going to be quite transformative. This person is now um, transforming on a very deep level. They're going through a sort of a death and a rebirth in spiritual terms. This is someone who's definitely intense. There could be some element to this between the two of you that is considered a taboo, either because of your differences or because of an age gap or something like that. But this person takes 
their they take their their responsibilities very seriously and they feel the responsibility that they have toward others very strongly and they honor that and they respect other people very much this person is very powerful but they don't come across as someone who has this much power they hold a lot in and it's palpable you can almost feel that they're oh they there's stuff that they just hold in they don't mention it it's the kind of person who if they have nothing nice to say they will say nothing but there's some someone who has a lot of depth and a very strong fire within them they they have a strong drive, but they don't really show it. They have a very peaceful um, surface. It's not that they are chaotic inside, it's just that they're a lot more driven than they come across. So there's someone who makes things happen and people are shocked how they make it happen because they don't make a fuss, they don't boast about it, they don't even tell anyone, they just move in silence. They're very humble too, is what I'm seeing. This person is someone who's humble. Venus, this person could have strong Taurus or Libra in their chart. Very loving person, very beautiful, harmonious, romantic, charming, sensual, possibly wealthy, diplomatic or good good with money making money good at attracting money they have a good sense of style good taste strong values they're magnetic they're the kind of person who when they walk in the room they never they they can never go unnoticed something about their eyes also is, are very intense The relationship will be both transformative but also very harmonious. You're going to feel immediately magnetized toward this person as soon as they walk into the room. Libra energy could be in your chart, their chart. This person is an idealist. They idealize um, a loving world and they love to be a part of creating that world and bringing it into existence. They're very cooperative, very harmonious, very diplomatic and very socially aware. They will always also be very aware of what's important to you and they will always be respectful of your needs and wants and this is actually someone who's a really good partner. Deep feelings shared between the two of you. A lot of feelings will come out and be triggered between the two of you and this person will nurture all parts of you make you feel comfortable, welcome, and warm. You may end up creating a family together, definitely feeling very comfortable with each other, sharing emotions. This person may be a little bit moody at times though, but very loving always. And if they do come across as moody, it's because Their moods are um, reflecting something back to you that needs working on. Mind you, this person is pure, but they're not exactly simple when it comes to the way they think and the way they do things. At times, they may come across quite mysterious why they do things the way they do, but to them, it makes a lot of sense and it will end up making sense to you too. You will end up understanding why they do things a certain way that maybe you wouldn't. But then it will make perfect sense and you're actually going to think, well, this is actually really smart. So a lot of what they say or do may require some form of translation, which they will be happy to explain. They're never going to leave you with questions, but you're always going to be curious about them. A lot of how they think and how they operate will be a mystery to you, but it's going to be interesting for you to get to know 
a different perspective and it's going to be very enriching to you. This person is very cautious, secretive, and wary. Yeah, this is someone who moves in silence. They like their privacy too, the number nine, because they've been through a lot and so they know. This is someone who's very smart. They know how to live life. Worth waiting for, which tells me that there's going to be a waiting period when it comes to this person for whatever reason. And it could be because this person is so cautious. And there could be a secret element between the two of you where you kind of have to keep this a secret for whatever reason for a while. And this may trigger someone who is a little bit more codependent, if that is your case, to um, chase this person in a way or in a sense out of fear of abandonment because you don't understand this person. If you know that you're codependent and you have this tendency to feel triggered if someone is not moving fast or is not telling you everything at once or not, you know, doing things, if, if you know you're this person, then it could be that for a time you become impatient and you kind of trying to compensate the distance or whatever's going on here, the mystery or the caution or the time with um, trying to compensate with taking action. Or if you're the calmer one and, you know, um, you are taking your time and you're cautious and this person will try to compensate by chasing you. Take what resonates, okay? You know yourself. But this is going to be a powerful and energetic connection with that number 28 there. It's definitely going to feel like a victory after a long wait. Okay. Don't let your pride get in the way. I just heard that as well. This will be successful. This will be a successful relationship. You're always going to have something to share, something to say. You're always going to feel excited around each other. And this will be your victory over a broken heart. So I would say if you experienced a strong, heartbreaking situation in the past, this will heal your broken heart. That will close that cycle for you. Victory over the broken heart. No more broken heart. Second chakra. Very sensual connection, very fun, light, creative connection. A lot of time in the bedroom. We have three nines, nine, nine, nine. It's going to be the end of any heartbreak you've ever experienced. It's not going to be like the past. It's going to be re-energizing, like renewal. It's going to be... It's like I just hear this is what you needed. And there's definitely true love here with the angel of love. 49 could be an important number in the number four. We already have four. I don't know how many times in this reading. Twice. Angel number 44. So definitely divinely guided. And divine timing is at play here. So things are not going to happen when you want them to. They will happen when it's best. Justice. There's definitely going to be a legal contract binding the two of you, is what I see here. Libra energy strongly. It's going to be very balanced and very peaceful. And fair. The Magician. This is something that you've manifested, and I'm seeing Gemini and Virgo energy here. Something you've manifested. And this person is quite resourceful, quite smart. Queen of Pentacles, that is the wife. So definitely marriage here with a contract. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy now. Possibly in Mars, Venus, Mercury placements or Moon, Sun or Rising possibly. But that is the confirmation that there will be a marriage here and will be stable and there will be financial comfort and health stability 
a well taken care of wife I see here you know option one got the king of pentacles so there could be another message there for you and also got the devil so don't be scared of this here but we have Capricorn this is a hard worker and the, the bond between the two of you is almost unbreakable definitely a lot of passion and lust here almost borderline obsession that the two of you have for each other uh, now there could be um, jealous people here that are toxic that somehow create obstacles for this to take off or once you are together <coughs> there could be a lot of challenges and obstacles that you still face together okay people trying to outside influences may be trying to control your person or this connection or um, mess things up uh, if they don't like something about it so there will be challenges and obstacles three of wands there could be a physical distance between the two of you and a longing for each other for a while someone here could surf someone could live near the ocean the Empress, there could be a pregnancy or starting a project together, whatever resonates for you, Libra and Taurus energy here. The feminine energy here will be so well taken care of, treated like a queen, like a princess, like an empress. And this is going to be a very abundant marriage in terms of prosperity as well. Like the two of you coming together, just the energy of the two of you combined is going to be attracting a lot of prosperity. It's a victory also over if the feminine has been feeling left out in the cold in previous relationships or if one or both of you have been experiencing material issues, you're going to overcome that very, very successfully together. And, there, and that's because, look, the Two of Cups, it's mutual, reciprocal, respectful, loving exchange of emotions here. Two peas in a pod twin flames because these two look like the same person it's the same soul now of course those of you who don't subscribe to, whole, to the whole twin flame journey leave that out okay if you think it's painful if you want to associate that to pain because someone told you that somewhere you read you read that somewhere maybe it is you know maybe some people don't want that maybe there is no pain I think you know it's whatever you manifest really if you're manifesting that a twin flame is going to be painful then the universe is going to agree with you if you manifest that your twin flame relationship is harmonious and healthy, which is what I'm seeing here, then yes, you will overcome everything together. Six of Swords. Together you will overcome these obstacles and these challenges or this jealousy and this interference. It's people trying to compete or trying to... Um, I'm, Seriously and sincerely, I'm seeing someone trying to steal someone else away from this relationship, but that n that's not going to happen. That person will not be successful or those people or trying to break this up or whatever for whatever reason. The two of you love each other so much that that's going to cause jealousy in people who are not spiritually evolved. But I see you overcoming any form of turbulence and, and uh, substituting all of that for peace, peace of mind. And your hard work is paying off, so I don't know what you've been doing, but you've been doing something right, especially if you've been working on your mental health, your emotional and spiritual health. It's definitely paying off. New Moon and Capricorn, something around the last two weeks of December will be significant here when it comes to a new beginning between the two of you. And that new beginning may even encompass new physical material circumstances or places, okay? There could even be relocation involving overseas, air travel, over a river, whatever this is. If that has been an obstacle, I see that pretty much could be. You're going to be able to overcome those obstacles. And whatever else is getting in the way of the two of you grounding this in the physical reality and being in each other's physical presence because I see there's some sort of a physical separation here maybe because of money in the beginning or health or 
uh, material circumstances, be that a job, a house, being in different countries, whatever that is. But you're going to overcome these, okay? Wow, guys, it was a pleasure to read for you today. Let me know how that resonates for you in the comment section. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a beautiful day. Bye. Until next time. Welcome. Option three. You guys chose Age of Ryan. And we have the number one there that could be significant. Ooh, okay. I'm seeing a grumpy face there. Or at least it's someone who looks older. So the masculine in this relationship could be someone who is older, but there could also be an older masculine that is a little bit grumpy about this or very protective over you. Whatever this is, you're going to be very protected when it comes to your future spouse or your future spouse will be very protective or there is some older masculine in your life that is going to be very protective over you or over this connection. The number one, new beginnings. Okay, so this is someone who has a lot of integrity, someone who is solid and very reliable and consistent. I do see this person is someone who is very mature. Okay, uh, so I'm seeing a very masculine energy with that card. And now we have the mother. Oh, I just noticed we have the number one there. So we have one twice. One plus one is a two. One and one together is 11. Masculine and feminine energy strongly here. So your roles are very strong with each other. The feminine will be very nurturing and motherly. Possibly you will create a child together or a project. Take what resonates depending on what phase in life you are, what you want, what can happen for you physically, okay? This is something absolutely new to you and the way that it happens or the kind of person that is coming through here. Definitely a lot of love here, a lot of nurturing, a lot of protection, being protective over each other okay and protecting the relationship you have shapeshifter all right so this person or you but I'm seeing more this person could have strong Gemini in their chart you could also I feel this person has some kind of skill of navigating through different levels of consciousness and they can see the potential in almost anything. They are someone who can turn obstacles into stepping stones and they know exactly how to act in any given circumstance. They're very smart. They connect the dots and they know, they always know who they're talking to and they know that different people require different um, approaches. I'm not saying this person is fake. No, this person is very mature and they definitely don't care what people think of them, but they are tactful. They are someone who has a lot of tact. And this is someone who has probably even had different jobs. They have very skilled at many things, multidimensional, connected in all ways to earth, to the ethers. This person could um, work in some kind of healing industry or they could just be a healer in the spiritual sense with their energy. They do have a spiritual gift of healing and they heal everyone they come into contact with. This person could literally be a doctor or a nurse, okay, but again, it doesn't have to be a surgeon, something like that, physician, you know, it's endless healing, okay, just consider anything that heals. But mainly this person's energy is healing, okay? Um, this person may like to wear bright colors. Or you may, but whoever wears the bright colors, the other person doesn't. So take, flip that as you will. This person pays um, attention to their image, how they look. They like to make a good first impression. They will make a good first impression. Um, they're very aware of how they impact others and the way they want to affect the world, the mark they want to leave on others is always of a healer. That's all they're really interested in. 
if they take good care of what they look like, it's it's meant they're designed that way so they can attract people their way, so people are attracted to their own healing through them. So their body image is just a part of them attracting in people so that they can heal them. A lot of people are born with charisma for this very reason, or are born, born good looking or whatever, so that they can attract others toward their own healing. Because for many um, people who need healing, the first thing they will look, like, look at is an image. And that's the first thing that they're going to be attracted to. Because a lot of times their superficiality is not really superficial. It's just hiding a depth of, of something they don't want to touch or deal with. <sighs> okay. Um, let me just get some more brightness in here. And we have Mars. So this is someone who is very exciting, very driven. They do some form of sports, maybe boxing, or maybe they wear red lipstick, or you've seen them with red lipstick. Take it if you're masculine or feminine, take what resonates, okay? This person is hot, okay? They are hot. They look hot. They're, they're hot. You would say this person is hot. Um, they're strong as well. Their body is strong. They're very strong-minded, strong-willed. <coughs> they're excited about life. They're a little bit impatient. They're definitely a leader, a strong leader. They have high sex drive. They work out. And there's a lot of things they're passionate about. This is someone who is courageous. And if you're feeling like, oh, I'm the courageous one, maybe you both are, or maybe you are, again, but you could meet this person through people you know, or from your through your family, or through people you know in common, or you could come from the same place, like have similar roots or something, have something in common when it comes to your past, or how you grew up, or how you were brought up, or um, this person may like to cook, or cook for you, this person could work in real estate, or they have strong habits that they uh, and routines that they cling on to, and sometimes this person <coughs> has a hard time getting out of their shell. But if you're that person who has a hard time getting out of your shell, this person is more action oriented. And the person who, um, if they're someone who has a hard time getting out of their shell, they still can cause a, a very powerful impact on others, even though they could be shy on more on the shy side. So just wherever you fit, this person is your opposite in that sense, okay? Because you're opposites. But yeah, and opposites attract. But the seventh house is all about opposites, right? It's <sighs> Libra energy. But this is like a true companion, like a really good partner, a really good marriage partner, a best friend kind of relationship, strong bond, holding hands, kissing. I see a lot of holding hands, kissing, um, a lot of bedroom activity going really, really well, being very tender, very passionate, also very... Um, yeah, and strong partnership. This is definitely destined, and you will know very early on. You will learn a lot from each other. You're going to feel very fulfilled around each other. You have either similar or same or corresponding life purposes, and you will both blossom and become who you're meant to be and be able to develop your life purposes by being together. And once you come together, you're going to be like air for each other. It's going to feel like if you don't have each other, you're missing something vital, something that keeps you alive. The communication is going to be beautiful. It's like you breathe life into each other. It's so beautiful. And you're going to feel like when, when you come together with this person in union, it's going to feel like that's the moment you were born. That's when you're f truly going to feel that you were born and that you're actually alive. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy is very strongly here, one or both of you. But kisses, conversations, you're going to be like air to each other. That's how necessary you're going to feel. That's how necessary you're going to feel to each other, like a necessity almost. 
children, your love life is being affected by children. You could either both have children or one of you or you will end up having children. The dragonfly, together you will adapt, change, heal, and transcend your current states of spiritual states, I would say. It's going to be a very highly intensely transformative connection here. You're going to help each other find out things about yourselves, even that you didn't know about yourself. There's going to be a lot of adapt adapting and changes happening and a lot of healing happening. A lot of shifting. There's going to be a lot of shifts for this to take place. It's a very spiritual union. And the number 32 could be relevant, the number 5. The number 32 is the 6 of Wands, so the energy of feeling like you've made it in a relationship. You've won. It's successful. I think victory came out in option one or two, I'm not sure. So there could be a message in one of those for you. Very peaceful with that dove there. And both of you will be like a, a portal to your souls for the other. To explore the depths of your souls together. The world. There could be a physical distance, like you could live <coughs> in different countries or you could explore the world together. The number two could be relevant, the number 29. You could help each other or, <coughs> sorry, the fact that you come together could have you both looking at the world or changing the, the view you have of the world and even your mission statement in this lifetime and you may even end up dressing differently because of, of how you get to know each other individually and yourselves so that you reconnect more with your genuine, true, authentic selves. Happy family, whether it's with kids, pets, or just the two of you, it's blissful and it's stable and it's happy. You may do a lot of walks near the ocean there's definitely a contract here sealing the, the bond between the two of you. So a legal marriage in the justice system. Um, very balanced connection with the Libra energy there. Very strongly seventh house. Total wish fulfillment here with the nine of cups. If you could both have your, your selfish ways, you, you would both be each other's self self selfish pleasure <laughs> okay it, it won't seem selfish to either one of you because your selfish is their selfish what they want they get in you what you want you get in them high priestess highly spiritual connection almost telepathic between the two of you <coughs> sorry ten of swords this will happen after some sort of ending of a pain or painful ending Ace of Swords, you can trust each other because you are truthful with each other. And you tell each other the truth. Um, you're going to mirror toward each other what um, maybe even some shortcomings and some things you don't like to see. Um, that you need to work on. Um, you're going to be <coughs> the key to open each other up to the truth of why <coughs> sorry things haven't worked out in the past individually high priestess the two of you while give me a second though while the two of you are very different on a soul level you're very very similar you're both highly intuitive you're both highly connected telepathically five of emotions when you meet, you're both processing a lot of sadness from the past and some sort of loss. It could be that Ten of Swords, both of you go through processes of a divorce or separation before you come together. Ending of the pain and painful endings. Eight of Pentacles. You're both going to be equally dedicated to this, very dedicated to each other and very hard workers individually. And... <clears throat> If in the past, with this Five of Pentacles here, you felt left out in the cold or 
experiencing a lack mindset or lack in terms of finances, that will be the end of this. You, you two coming together with this tower here, any faulty foundations that you were both living or experiencing or lack will come to an end. That faulty foundation will crumble so you can build a new one together. Scorpio energy, Mars and Uranus energy. The way this happens, the way you come together is going to be very surprising, out of the blue and unexpected. Okay? Or a sudden awakening and realization that, oh wait, this is my person. This is my destined person. <clears throat> but you're, it's going to take looking at the bigger picture. You're not going to realize this right away. You're not going to realize this right away. But at one point there will be an epiphany. And there will be a sudden awakening. That someone wasn't looking at the bigger picture. The, the month of June could be very significant here when it comes to this connection. And that's when things can come full circle. And that's when... Things will reach some kind of a climax between the two of you and there will be expansion and possibly long distance travel if that is the case here. Either together or toward each other, whatever the case may be. I feel the two of you are going to help each other expand your ideas, your spirituality, your knowledge. You're going to learn and teach a lot from each other. You're going to teach each other, and you're going to learn from each other. All right, um, that was your reading. Oh, someone here could be a spiritual teacher or a university teacher or even a medical teacher, something like that. Um, and that's it. Oh, someone could work in the legal in the justice system, like as a lawyer, judge, or just in a courtroom, or I don't know, um, <clears throat> paralegal, I don't know, or anyone in the justice system, and that's a lot of people. I mean, that could even be the police, right? But it doesn't have to be. There's definitely a legal contract here binding this marriage here. And it's going to be a break away from anything else that's been... stuff that you've settled for before. You're not going to feel like you're settling here. <clears throat> and after this, you would definitely wouldn't be willing to settle for anything less than this because this is beautiful. All right. <laughs> that was your reading option three. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a beautiful day. Bye. Till next time.